हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई सी अकेडमी In this lecture, let us find the transfer function and impulse response of the system, which is described by the following difference equation. Let us consider the first difference equation, where y of n minus one by two y of n minus one is equal to two x of n minus one. For this, we need to find the transfer function as well as the impulse response. For this given equation, let us take z transform on both sides. Let us take the transform on both sides. So we can write the above equation as y of n. We can write it as y of z minus one by two. Y of n minus one. We can write it as z inverse y of z equal to two times x of n minus one. We can write it as z inverse x of z. Now. From this equation, let us take y of z as common. Therefore, we can write y of z. If we take common, we can write it as one minus one by two z inverse. That will be equal to two z inverse x of z. We know transfer function can be given as h of z is equal to y of z. Divided by x of z, so we can write this as two z inverse divided by one minus one by two z inverse. So if we simplify this, we'll get two divided by z minus one by two. So this is the transfer function. Therefore, we got h of z is equal to two divided by z minus one by two. From this transfer function, let us find the impulse response. So, for this, if we take inverse z transform on both sides, therefore we can write h of n is equal to two into one by two whole to the power of n u of n minus one. So, this is the impulse response of the given problem. Now let us consider the second problem. For this given differential equation, let us take z transform on both side. So if we take z transform, we will get y of z minus one by four z inverse y of z minus three by eight z to the power of minus two y of z will be equal to minus x of z plus two z to the power of minus one x of z. Let us take y of z common in this term. Therefore, we can write y of z. If we take common, it will be one minus one by four z inverse minus three by eight z to the power of minus two. That will be equal to in this term. If we take x of z as common, we can write x of z as common. We'll be left out with minus one plus two z inverse. Therefore, transfer function can be written as h of z is equal to y of z divided by x of z. This can be written as minus one plus two z inverse divided by one minus one by four z inverse minus three by eight z to the power of minus two. For this equation, if we multiply and divide numerator and denominator with z square, we will get minus z square plus 2z divided by z square minus 1 by 4z minus 3 by 8. Therefore, we can write h of z is equal to. From the numerator term, if we take z as common, we can write that as z into 2 minus z divided by z square minus 1 by 4z minus 3 by 8. So, from this equation. We can write h of z divided by z is equal to two minus z divided by z square minus one by four z minus three by eight. Therefore, above equation we can write it as h of z divided by z is equal to two minus z divided by. For this denominator term, if we take the roots, 
we can write that as z plus 1 by 2 into z minus 3 by 4. So, if we use partial fractions, we can write this as a divided by z plus 1 by 2 plus b divided by z minus 3 by 4. Let us take this as equation number 1. Therefore, we can write the above equation as 2 minus z is equal to a into z minus 3 by 4 plus b into z plus 1 by 2. Let us call this as equation number 2. In equation 2, if we put z is equal to minus 1 by 2, at that case, we will get 5 by 2 is equal to a into minus 5 by 4. From this, we can say a is equal to minus 2. In the same way, in equation number 2, if we put z is equal to 3 by 4, at that case, we will get 5 by 4 is equal to b into 5 by 4. From this, we can say b is equal to 1. So, we got the values of a and b. Let us put these values of a and b in equation number 1. Therefore, we can write h of z will be equal to minus 2z divided by z plus 1 by 2 plus 1 divided by z minus 3 by 4. So, for this equation, if we take inverse z transform, we will get h of n is equal to minus 2 into minus 1 by 2 whole to the power of n u of n plus 3 by 4 whole to the power of n u of n. So, this is the impulse response of the given problem. These are the problems on transform analysis of LTI system. I hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.